Charles, I probably can do number one. Any questions over answers for Brenda Nancy? What is the an what's the answer to six and eleven? Six is fifty-two, eleven is greater. Ephraim? What is the answer to um, ten? Ten is three common negative two in parentheses. Leah? Oh, it was seven. Seven was two times three times three times five times seven. Number one, if in fact you struggle with that, again, I always try to sketch out these word problems. What's it say? He's flying 580 miles per hour. 580 miles per hour, Charles, right? So in one hour, how far does he go? 580 miles, correct? So in two hours, he's going to go another 580 miles. But then he's only going to go half an hour here. I guess he'd figure out half of 580. But what would be the quickest way to do that? It is a, it is not dividing. You are multiplying. How many 580s is doing 2 and 1 half times 580? You're not separating 580 into groups. One hour you do this, two hours you do that, half an hour you would do that. Which means you'd have to do what? Change it to improper, correct? Mm -hmm. Two and one half as improper is five halves, and then you're going to multiply that by 580. Quick way to do that would be to do what, Brady? Uh, or isn't there a quick way to do it? Would you multiply those together and divide by two? Or I did. What did you do? I just divided 580 by 2. Added it to 580 and 580? Yeah, you can do that. Either way, Brady says I did 580 plus 580 plus half of 580, which is 290. 1726. Works for me. I'm okay with that. You get the same answer. Ellie Norquist? 16 was 8 nights. 8 nights. Ephraim? Could you do number 5 on the board? Sure. Again, if I was the 7th grader, I wanted to do well, I'd probably be jotting down notes for myself on this. How many yards of carpet are needed to cover the floor of a room that is 15 feet long and 12 feet wide? Ephraim, did you draw the rectangle? Yes. And did you label it? Yes. What was the labels? Um, 15. All right, now let me tell you, this is the note I would do to myself. Don't do the work and then change it to yards. Change it to yards first. Change dimensions to yards. 12 feet is how many yards? If one yard is 3 feet, 3 feet make 1 yard. 12 feet is how many yards, Charles? Four. Four. So this is four yards. 15 is, half from how many yards? Um, five. Five. And then you just do the math. You're looking for area, so it's length times width. Now that you've changed them into yards, five times four is 20 yards squared. And hopefully you circle your answer so you can read it when the teacher asks you. What's that saying? Charles? Um, number three. The answer or how to do it? Three. Number three. Did you cut it into 12 pieces? Yes. A whole pizza is cut into 12 pieces. Well, that's what, half? And then there's a quarter. How do I cut that into 12 pieces? I have to take each quarter and cut it into thirds, right? So there's a third. Third, third. Uh, 
there's the 12, right? So how much is a half a pizza? Well, let's just color in the bottom half. This, 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 this would be half the pizza. Dexter eats half the pizza. Oh, look, half the pizza's gone. Dex ate this. Landry eats a third of the pizza. What is, if you take 12 pieces and eat a third of it, what is a third of 12? A third of 12 is 3. Take 12 divided by 3, you get 4. So this guy eats 4 pieces. Okay, I'll change colors. This guy eats 4 pieces. What fraction of the pizza remains? 2 twelfths. And 2 twelfths is 26. 2 twelfths is 1 sixth. Ellie Norquist. 14. I would love to be number 14. One of my top 10 five rivers. And again, this I think is solving by inspection still, if I'm not correct. I Note to self on this is I would cover up the X term, cover up the letter first if you're looking at this. In other words, this. Put your hand over this, cross off this thing here, and say, what does this have to be? What number, when you add 3 to it, would give you 15? What number, when you add 3 to it, gives you 15? 12. This has to be 12. So 2x has to be 12. And then you'd say to yourself, well, how do I get 12 with 2 times what number? 2 times what number is 12? 6. So x has to be 6. 3 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Again, later on, you won't have to worry about this because we will do this mathematically rather than just looking at it because some of them gets a little tougher when you do that there. Charles? Can you do number 6? I hope so. That over here. What is the perimeter of a rectangle picture frame? So you drew the rectangle picture frame, Charlie? Yes. And labeled it. And what are my what are my dimensions? And these are 14 and a half over here and 11 and a half over here. And you added all those together because it said perimeter and you got the wrong answer? Uh oh. 11 and 1 half plus 11 and 1 half plus 14 and a half plus 14 and a half. Half plus half is a whole, half plus half is another whole, so you get no fraction, but you have two holes. 2, 3, 4, 8, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's like a 52 inches to me. You did what? Uh, I forgot the other two. Very interesting. Very interesting. And you want to jot a note to yourself to say, remember, perimeter is adding all four sides, not just two of them. Charles! Number eight. Number eight. Is that on the other page? That... <laughs> note to self, what's the word of me, Charlie? Of equals times. And the other thing is 30%. It changes to what? 30 over 100. Sure, why not? So you're going to do this as 30 over 100 times 25. I guess we'll do $25. Charlie, is there an easy way to do this? Um, you can cross. You could, I guess. Cross cancel. Mm. Well, but you have to remember that this is the decimal here. Actually, you want to get rid of these decimals. 25 does go into 100 by what? 25 goes into 25 once and into 100 four times, right? How about this? So you get 30 over 4. You want me to cross cancel more or just divide it out? Because it's 30 divided by 4. That's what this means. It's a fraction. 4 goes into 30 how many times? 7 is 28. I have to add some decimals because we're talking money. 3 times 4 goes into 20. 5 times. 
Now, to me, here's your answer. To me, it might be easier for you to change 30% to a decimal and multiply. What percent is 30% or the decimal? 30% of the decimal is 0.30. So if you take 25 times, let's just make it 0.3, you get 75 with one decimal point, that's $7.50. I think I would change it to a decimal as opposed to whatever it is. Ephraim. I just wanted to ask about how I do number eight. Um, oh, you didn't do number eight? No, I just wanted to ask if this is okay. I made like the fraction. I made the fraction box with the out of the Sure. You can do that and then you divide the 25,000 to 100 boxes? No, I reduced it. I to three tenths? So then what did each box turn into? Uh, two, two sure. Yep. That's perfect. It works for me, Charles. What was the image of number 20? Number 20, I believe, was $29.85. That what you got? No, it asked for medium. What? It asked for medium. Medium is the middle one. Did you put them in order from least to greatest? Are you going to like remember to do that tomorrow, or is that, do you not jot any notes down for yourself, Charles? Because I think I would, I think I would be like, look at Aiden got notes for himself. And you're going to remember all the stuff that I went over, you're going to remember. I hope you do. Believe you me. Anybody, anything else on any of that? Anytime you find a median number, you got a list of least to greatest. Nobody on any of this stuff here. Nobody on any of this stuff over here. Find 40C when A is 3 and C is 5. Nobody. That from? 13 was 60. Uno, dos, tres, going by. It's all over the same here. All right.